What's going down folks, it's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another NBA 2K16 my career playoff game for you guys and if you guys are just now tuning into the channel we have a closeout situation on the road against the brooklyn nets we have to come out here and take care of business and try to deliver the knockout blow against the Nets. so here we go let's tip this thing off and get into the gameplay now we get the tip and power recovers it passes it up to d flight and he was killing last game with the three so he does a quick little heat check and it rattles and bounces out he was killing last game with the three-point shot Anyway, the Nets get the ball in transition, and of course, they get an easy score off the break. So you guys know I got to have a short memory and forget those misses. So I come back a couple possessions later, and I'm ready to let them fly once again without hesitation. This time it drops for me, though. So I come back and get on D, matching up against Jarrett Jack, and of course, he's dancing around at the top of the key. Not really sure what he's doing up there, but he stops and fades away and drains a nice bucket. There's nothing I can do about that. If he's hitting shots like that tonight... It's going to be a long night. I got my work cut out for me if Jack is hitting like that. But my next possession, I throw it down on Jared Jack. And I get a nice little 20,000 fan boost right there too. And I think I'm at the 2 million mark or just over the 2 million fan mark for my total fan count. So that's pretty crazy starting out. But anyways, Jared Jack is lighting me up out here, folks. We might have to tighten him up a little bit and play a little bit better D on him because we can't have him going off tonight. Oh, they switched on the pick. You better dive. You better make that too. Oh my goodness. You know, every time Jakeem Noah takes a shot, I always have to hold my breath for a second. He's just way too unpredictable offensively. It's crazy. Oh, good deflection. That's us. Oh, let's run this. Oh, I see a lane. I got to get this up. There it is, baby. Get up. What? You got to be kidding me right now. Are you serious? Who was that on the play? Snell? You mean to tell me he couldn't go up and get that? He had the perfect angle on everything on that play. As Noah rotates over late and gives Lopez a wide open shot. My next offensive possession, I decide to be a little bit more aggressive and just let it go. They leave me wide open behind the arc. Of course, I got to line it up and knock it down. Every time. A couple possessions later, I go into the two-man game. Powell sets the screen, dives to the basket. I hit him right in stride for an easy layup. It's like clockwork. And folks, if you can hear some buzzing in the background, I apologize. My gardeners are here. I'm doing this commentary at 8.58 in the morning, and the gardeners are already outside working. So there's nothing I could do about it. But nice play without the ball by D'Angelo Flight. He caught his man taking a nap and went back door on him for an easy layup. Back on D, Beverly kicks it inside to Young. Young misses the layup. Good defense by Noah. Noah kicks it out to Flight. You know, I come up court just taking my time with it. And I notice there's nobody on me, so I got to stop and transition and let that go. Tying up the game with the deep three. A couple possessions later, Beverly's backed off, so I just let it fly. He's late on the closeout. Shot's good. I just need a crack of daylight, and I'm letting that thing go. But, folks, our defensive issues continue. Look at Noah. Why does he always seem to be late or out of position on a play? It's killing us out here. And, oh, don't get caught with that spin move. That spin move left him frozen. It would have been nasty if you went up and bashed that too, though. But anyways, back on D. We get the tip pass. D Rose outlets it full court. I take a dribble and go airborne. Throwing it down over whoever's standing underneath the basket. That's playoff basketball right there. And he got away with doing a little pull up after the dunk. So now with the clock winding down in the first quarter, I get the rock outside the three-point line, let the clock wind down a little bit and go to work. Spinning off the defender and attacking the paint, going up hard over two people in the lane. Knocking the shot down at the buzzer and hopefully giving us a little bit of momentum heading into the second quarter. And what a pass by D Rose to find me cutting through the lane for the easy slam. Again, playing without the ball is crucial if you want to win in the playoffs. So it's a three point game. I figured we should try to get up a three here. So I'll channel my inner Reggie Miller or Rip Hamilton and run around a couple of screens, line it up and knock down a wide open three after creating some space to tie the game up. Now on defense, we're still struggling to get stops. It seems like somebody's open almost every possession. If it's not Brooke Lopez, it's Bargnani. If it's not Bargnani, it's Beverly or Jack. There's always somebody open for some reason. We got to clamp down on defense or this series could take a turn for the worse. And speaking of turn for the worse, I blow right by my defender for an easy layup at the basket, bringing us within two. But once again, they go on another run and now they're up six. So my next offensive possession, I decide to get my teammates involved, kicking it over to Jimmy for the open jump shot. But this is the end of the floor that we need to step it up on. We need to play better defense. And just as I say that, look at what happens. What is Jakeem Noah even doing on the floor? Folks, this is the second game in a row where he's had a possession just like this on defense. He's not even paying attention to his assignment. He's just off searching for the yellow brick road or something. That's just crazy. 
Noah is killing me this series. So back on offense, Jack is over pursuing, so I cut baseline and throw it down right over Jared Jack again. I don't know how many more times I'm going to say this man gets dunked on, but it seems to happen at least three times a game. Now, for whatever reason, my defender does not respect the rain, so I just pull up. Letting it go, there's no reason not to. He basically dared me to take that shot, so I had to make him pay. So now I get back to the two-man game, because it's seemingly working all game. So Noah sets the screen, rolls to the basket, and gets another layup. We can just pick and roll these guys to death. If they're going to let us do it, we got to keep running this. And I'm pretty sure Jarrett Jack and the Nets have the same mindset as well, because they are drilling us right now. But we're just going to have to keep picking our spots, and hopefully we can get back into this thing. Oh, pal, I see you. That was pretty close to a turnover, though. I'm surprised he actually caught that and made it, but we'll take it. So now let's D up, fellas. We need to stop here. No easy baskets. Stay with your man. Butler fights through the pick, and then Bargnani just leaks out for a wide-open jump shot, and nobody goes with him. Somebody's got to pick up Bargnani. From this angle, it looks like Powell should have gone with him. I don't know if he got lost or what. But then Noah decides to shade over. Noah is standing right there. Noah, come on, man. Run out there and put a hand in his face. They are just not giving us a chance out here today. Everything that we do, they come back and counter with some BS. So now I guess it's on me. I got to make something happen. I dribbled the rock up court and lose the ball. Jared Jack with the steal. But I stay with him and tell him, get that weak stuff out of here. Hit him with a chase down block. I am not giving up on plays after a turnover. If I'm within two to three steps, you best believe I'm trying to chase that thing down like LeBron. No, sir. That is not happening today. So we managed to crawl back in this thing, folks. It's a three-point game. I need to ignite a spark because my teammates need it right now. So I take a jab step and go baseline and throw it down. Let the Kia Slam Cam run that back. Look at the rim still shaking after the dunk. That was nasty. So back on defense, I put that pickpocket badge to use and steal the rock and throw it down one-handed on a one-man fast break. So now with the game close in the fourth quarter, it's time to let them daggers fly. We can't be timid out here. But like they always do, the CPU has an answer for everything you throw at it because they come back and Bargnani fires a deep three and buries it to give them the lead with 134 to go. So it's go time now. I attack the basket and great defense by Lopez. He blocks the shot. I really thought the dunk animation would be triggered right there, but it wasn't. But they get out on the break and they score an easy bucket and they get a foul. So if they make the free throw, I'll be down five with 123 to play. And the crazy thing is we just had the lead. So we need him to miss this to have a chance. And the free throw's no good. Noah grabs the board, outlets it to Flight. Flight takes a dribble, lets it go. The shot's up and it's no good. Now, since 2K14, how many times have you guys seen me make that shot? I'm guessing at least a dozen times. And that one was one that we really needed. Because on defense, as always, Noah gets caught with his pants down again. Noah just continues to let me down in crucial moments. It's crazy. So now we're just in desperation mode. With the clock winding down, I take a couple dribbles and just let it go. Knocking down the three to bring us within five with 25 seconds to play. Back on defense. Again, we really need to stop to have any chance whatsoever. And the ball is stolen. I take a couple dribbles and let it fly in transition. Draining the three-point bucket to bring us within two. But we're forced to intentionally foul and send them to the free throw line hoping they'll miss one. Of course they don't. They knock them both down. And that is your ball game. We end up losing this one 115 to 111 in a close one that honestly could have gone either way. We had momentum right there in the fourth quarter. We just couldn't hold on to it. And we end up taking the L in the playoffs. So now the series shifts back to Chicago. Hopefully we can take care of business at home. Anyways, folks, that's all the time I got in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one real soon.